There's three options for attaching files that I'd like to discuss today. The first is to be able to create a note from the customer engagement record timeline and attach the file in the note. Secondly, we'll take a look at creating or uploading a document using the file SharePoint functionality tab that can be enabled on the record itself. Third, we'll use the PDF functionality that occurs out of the box and use the Save to SharePoint feature. First, when creating a note, a lot of times this is about a photo taken from a mobile app. So we're uh, working out in the field on a work order. We may take a picture of a part that's damaged or an inspection that we're doing and attach that photo in a note to a particular, say, a work order record. From the sales standpoint, we may be taking a photo of a potential project that we want to work from. And if it's a customer service perspective, there may be an incident where we need to inspect some damage before we can move on. And so all of those, if they're, all of those situations where we're taking a photo are automatically connected to a note in the out-of-the-box mobile applications. But users may uh, find it easy to attach files to a note using the web application also. When we're uploading files or, or creating files using the file document tab on a record, we are connecting files from either your local machine or from um, another SharePoint location or from OneDrive. These are then uh, connected to the record, again, for access for other users to reference a file. So, for example, we may have a request for quote uh, from a customer or a prospective customer that we attach to an opportunity record uh, using the file slash document tab. And then the third option is to create a PDF. And you can use the out of the box functionality to create a PDF from a Microsoft Word template on records like quotes um, and orders, other things that might be appropriate for us to have a document created from the record in customer in the customer engagement app and be able to then again store that directly on the record. The storing in SharePoint here is also out of the box. There's no additional configurations you need to do after you've set up the SharePoint configuration. Alternatives include using Power Automate Flow to automatically move the note attachment to SharePoint. Alternatively, you could create a Power Automate Flow to create a note when a file is connected to the record. So in the first alternative, we're saying, hey, a note was created with an attachment. Let's move that uh, attachment over to SharePoint and clean it out of the note. And then the second alternative refers to when we use the file slash document tab to either create or upload a document, we would use flow to look for that connection and create a note back on the connected record. So let's take a look at the alternatives. So I'm going to start here in my demonstration by looking at a work order. As I mentioned earlier, um, the out-of-the-box functionality in the mobile app when I'm taking a picture is to use a note. So we are attaching, say, a picture to a note when we're using the mobile app. I'm using the web client here so I don't have to flip back and forth between the mobile app. But again, the idea is the note is created and here's that file of a photo that's taking up uh, file storage space on the customer engagement server. It is not on the SharePoint server instead. So we're looking at related documents here. We can see on the work order that there is no document for no document for that JPEG photo that we took using the mobile app. So working from here, of course, I can upload documents or create new documents that would be connected to uh, this particular record. I could engage a Power Automate flow to look for this connection that we would make, say, this file. 
and create a note on the record. Let's take a look instead at an account. So here we have an account record and one of the things we can do is use a flow to take an attachment from a note and move it over to SharePoint. So files right now on this particular account, I do have a file attached. I use the mobile app and connected a photo onto a note in the mobile app and it came over to this SharePoint location. So how did, how did I do that? Let me come back over here. I'm going to enter a new note on the timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and add a file. So I'll just grab, um, again, the same file here just for demonstration purposes and add the note. In the background, I have a Power Automate flow running, which will take this particular attachment and move it over to be a SharePoint file and strip it out of this note. And you'll see how that works in just a moment. I'll refresh the record. I'll refresh the record. And voila, the file has been stripped out of the note. And if I come over to files here, you see that now that particular file that I chose is connected in the less expensive SharePoint file storage. So what I did behind the scenes is I simply created a Power Automate flow that took the note, uh, made sure that the file was connected into the appropriate folder in SharePoint, then actually copied the note um, to create a new note without the attachment, and then I deleted the original note. So now I have reference. I have demo file move. That was the title of my note. Here's the name of the record. And I just put the word SharePoint file at the end of this so that the user, when they come over to the files tab, can say, oh yeah, I can see on the SharePoint files, it, there's that particular record. And then I can open that particular record up and go forward from there. All right, the third alternative is simply to uh, use the out-of-the-box export to PDF functionality. Here I'm taking a look at a quote, and I'm going to just go ahead and export this to PDF and have the out-of-the-box uh, templates here. But notice I have an option to take this Word template generated into a PDF and, sh and save it to SharePoint uh, directly. So I saved the SharePoint and now that is completed and notice that the export to PDF um, user interface uh, stays open and I can now email that same document to the customer directly from this interface. I won't do that, I'll close it. But now looking at the quote here, related documents, Here's the document that I just created uh, with the name of the template right on the top. So that really helps a lot. The only thing that we possibly could add here is some type of notification on the timeline of this particular quote that says, hey, the document is stored over here for your reference. Mm -hmm.